Okay, so Dr. Stephen Marr, he owned this house, this row house here at uh, 405, uh, 405 Warren. So Dr. Marr is one of these interesting New Haven figures that I really knew nothing about until we started doing Walk New Haven cultural tours. He was, he was very well known in his time, somewhat forgotten uh, today. He, he was a very distinguished uh, Irish-American uh, Catholic physician and epidemiologist who helped to stop an earlier pandemic in, in U.S. history and, and also to found St. Raphael's Hospital, which is an important uh, institution, uh, not just in New Haven's medical history, but also its social history, because it was a place where all of New Haven's uh, ethnic groups could practice medicine and receive care, which was not necessarily true uh, of other hospitals uh, at the time. So Dr. Uh, Marr's paternal family immigrated from Ireland to New Haven in 1825 to work on the Farmington Canal, okay? Uh, so Marr was born uh, in 1860. He was the oldest of eight sons, very large family, a lot of, lot of boys. Uh, and when he was still an adolescent, his father died of tuberculosis. And this sent Stephen on a lifelong mission to find a cure or treatment for TB, one of the great pathogenic killers in, in human history to, to this day, actually. Uh, in 1887, he graduated from Yale Medical School with honors. He did postgraduate uh, work in hospitals in Ireland and England, after which he returned to uh, New Haven and devoted his career to the treatment of this, this horrible disease, tuber tuberculosis. As chair of Connecticut's Tuberculosis Commission, Dr. Ma Marr oversaw construction of five state sanatoriums, or sanatoria for TB patients. He made sure they were well-funded, and that they were beautiful facilities um, like sea Seaside and Waterford is one that is still around. It's now a state park. I, I don't know if some of you are familiar with that, but um, he also served as a delegate to numerous international conferences and, and associations, including ones that were predecessors of uh, the World Health Organization. So much of the international public health infrastructure we have today dates to this era and owes to physicians like Dr. Marr uh, who were working to combat things like the Spanish flu and, and tuberculosis. Uh, in 1906, Dr. Marr was one of the dozen or so founders of New Haven's Catholic Hospital Association, which in 1908 opened the Hospital of St. Raphael. And it is important to note that the Catholic Hospital Association actually included many Jewish doctors many Jewish members, and Congregation Mishkan Israel was a major donor to the Catholic Hospital Association and to St. Saint, Saint Raphael's. Why? Because, as I, as I mentioned before, uh, unlike other hospitals at the time, St. Raphael's did not discriminate uh, as, as to the religious or, or ethnic background of its staff uh, or which doctors had admitting privileges, and there, there's actually a non-discrimination clause in their charter that this was a hospital that would be open open to all. So an, an important uh, institution uh, in, in New Haven's history for that reason, and one that was, that was, as I said, supported by many Jews.